In today's tutorial, uh, I wanted to show you how to model this uh, building. This is actually uh, some kind of uh, structure in China that is just built for uh, like decoration purposes. It doesn't have any purpose whatsoever. Uh, uh, they just use it as a landmark, like Eiffel Tower in, in Paris. And they have some kind of uh, a way to get to the top. So it's like a sightseeing place or whatever. So uh, personally, I don't like support this kind of buildings because it's for me, it doesn't seem like a legit purpose for a building. You just have a massive circle in the middle of all these surrounding buildings, but that's Chinese architecture. So let's just uh, go forward. And uh, I'll also show you how to create this kind of uh, pattern on the side. Okay, so let's start. So first thing you want to do is you want to actually create some uh, circle and then uh, duplicate this guy one more time and now let's bring it down a little bit like so so we want to achieve this this effect here so that's why we're bringing it down uh, once this is ready uh, let's go to the perspective and uh, now we need to actually move it here like so this will, this will have th some kind of thickness, so I'm just going to extrude it a little bit on this side. <laughs> like so. And uh, uh, now we can use uh, symmetry, or actually first let's use, uh, let's use uh, sweep to, to create this effect. Let's say that the section will be here. Sweep to chain edges, section curve, and we have our circle. And now let's uh, let's let's go to Grasshopper to create this this kind of uh, effect here, this paneling. So uh, we're actually going to use very simple definition that is. Uh, um, utilized by using panels from Launchbox. So we're just going to use uh, this uh, triangle panels B and let's select the surface, right click, set one surface. And this is the paneling that we have. If you're happy with this result, uh, we can let me check. I think it's fine. Maybe let's put this back to 12 let make it less dense and uh, let's let's bake these lines now uh, and let's close the grasshopper so we have this paneling okay so we have the actual paneling here and now we don't need this back surface anymore so we can delete it this is our new surface and let's let's now mirror it on the other side as well. Let's go to the top. And for example, let's create here like some reference geometry and let's mirror this on the other side. And one more thing we can do is actually uh, mirror this curve as well, and then connect these guys together. So let's mirror this like so. And now we can use simple loft command to connect it like so. So this is our geometry and we need to actually cut it somewhere around here. like so so let's just use extrusion here and boolean split actually first let's let's join all of this together 
and this guy as well. And let's join it here as well. Okay, now let's go boolean split. And now it will divide this into parts. Uh, and once this is ready, we're just gonna, oh, let's ungroup this and let's take out the bottom part. Let me just check. Okay, that's fine. So this is our building. And let's let's bring it back to to, uh, to the center, like so. And uh, now I'm gonna render this and show you the final result. The only thing that here um, I can show you here is um, that we can actually create a material that is called. Uh, tool material and this material will allow, will, will allow us to actually uh, have these edges visible so that we have the effect of having uh, the edges instead of just panels because if you render this with a normal material it will not show the edges so that's why we're gonna use this tool material and apply it to the surface and here you can just uh, see the, the line color is black. We can actually change it to whatever color we want. And we can actually also set the base material into something else and then have uh, these edges be, be visible for, for, for this purpose. So I'm just gonna use this now for this material and show you the result. Here is the final rendering, hope that you like it. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please write them down in the comment section below this video. And uh, if you like this kind of tutorials, please like and share and make sure to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the bell icon here so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video.